Welcome to Sinvest. We talk about investing, finance for professional women. And so, according time of ten o nine a.m. on Eastern Time, Neo is currently up about five point three o percent so far, trading at twenty three dollars and four cents at the moment. And uh, with respect to the technical front, I'm looking at a relatively interesting pattern. So I just want to come on the camera um, just to inform you guys. Um, we have rebounded quite sharply ever since we hit to the low of the 1301, ever since the crash that we incurred a couple weeks ago. And also subsequent to that, we had a positive slash, um, you know, in, in terms of earning perspective, it was a positive report. But in terms of the outlook from the management team, it was definitely kind of a wash, right? So, um, and after the earning, we saw like a 10% sell off that subsequently dipped us back down to like the 1972. And ever since then, we are forming something that's called the reverse uh, head and shoulder pattern. You can see that there's clearly a head right here, a shoulder right here. And now as of today, we are forming another shoulder. And as you know, a head and shoulder pattern, if it's just an inverse head and shoulder pattern, right? If it was pointing like a mountain, it will technically, uh, uh, you know, drop us, right? But because of the fact this is a reversed uh, head and shoulder pattern with this head as a dip, right? This is the second dip and then the third dip allow us to triangulate into a surging pressure right here. So this is a classic uh, uh, inverse head and shoulder pattern that we're experiencing in front of us right now, driving buying pressure uh, up about 6.5% so far. So interesting pattern, just wanna bring this up to you guys. Um, definitely I, I do foresee more buying pressure ahead. And the next level of uh, resistance will be somewhere around like the $25, $26 ish. Uh, and we do have a gap here. So I do foresee more buying pressure for NEO because when you form a gap, you always have to fill the gap. Um, so the next level is 26 and then subsequently up to the, as we break that 27, you have a green space all the way up to like the low 30s all over again. So NEO seems very bullish at the moment. And if you look at this on a weekly perspective, you can see that about the former Golden Cross. So I think Neo is going to be um, going to go through a parabolic move coming. Um, and this triangulates with all of it. Um, so, you know, pretty happy with respect to his reversal. And I hope that many people have been buying um, as it was dipping, right? Obviously, Chinese stocks got hit the, the worst because of the delisting news. COVID that's cultivating in China um, to, you know, the supply chain uh, is issue that's cultivating among EV companies as well. Uh, but it was definitely extremely oversold um, and also fear mongering. People are expecting Neo to go down to like five dollars again, which technically don't make much sense in the in a fundamental perspective. Um, but it seems like the pattern is really showing um, again, right? The inverse head and shoulder and also with respect to the preliminary uh, golden cross about to be formed so definitely good stuff like i'm happy for us for those that have been buying the dips so that's it really appreciate you take care